It's growing in popularity, but in an emergency, drones can put your life at risk. And new here at 6 o'clock for your 41 Action News reporter Ariel Rothfeld takes a look at the high-flying problems emergency crews face while trying to save your life. Three, two, one, and we're gone. For years, Dane Schmidt has been flying drones. So you can just kind of cruise fly, you know, and just have fun and cruise around. Flying them not for profit or commercial use. Dane chooses to fly through. for pure joy. You see things in ways people have never got to see them before. It's really, really cool. Flying drones as a hobby is allowed as long as operators here like Dane keep it below 400 feet. Eagle 2, medical scene flight, Garden City. For Life Flight Eagle, minutes matter. When you throw a drone in that mix during those times, it can be pretty stressful. Often flying over the plaza to St. Luke's, drones posing some of the biggest problems for these crews. Hobbyist drones can be as, as heavy as 55 pounds, and, and to have something impact our aircraft uh, that that's heavy would be catastrophic. In fact, just last week, their sister station in Texas had a near miss with a drone. Pretty much in, in our industry, that's the thought, that, it, that it's not an if, but when uh, something bad happens with drones. Which is why Life Flight Eagle wants operators I like to be able to do this responsibly. And to be like to Dane, know the rules before you fly. The rules are not going to get in your way if you just do it right. They really aren't. In Kansas City, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News. Here are some key things to remember. If you do own a drone, you must register it with the FAA. You must keep it below 400 feet, and you must always fly within a visual line of sight. There are a lot more rules and regulations, of course, listed on the FAA's website, knowbeforeyoufly.org.